Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's February 18th, I believe. About 13 degrees for a high today. Uh, recently, uh, Cheryl and I uh, started building the top of our winter greenhouse. Uh, a couple of years ago, I started watching some videos on uh, winter greenhouses in Canada and a couple other cold climates. Um, and started working on this uh, last fall. I dug a hole and about five feet deep, eight by 12, and insulated the outside of the hole and then uh, put some piping in it and backfilled it. And uh, we got a couple of warm weeks uh, two weeks ago. And we started doing the outside structure and building the uh, greenhouse. So I thought I'd take you inside and show you how it's going so far, or my thoughts on it, I guess. I haven't quite got the doorknob on or anything, just put a latch or a handle on it so I can close the door and tie it shut for now. Well, we'll go inside and see uh, how the temperature is with the sun out. It's pretty sunny today, so sunny and cold. Ooh, it's nice and warm here. So as you can see, uh, it's a dirt floor in here. The uh, pipe uh, stubs out in there. Uh, goes in here. Uh, it's coiled back and forth at five feet at the bottom of the hole and then uh, about two and a half feet um, up. Uh, it goes back and forth again with another grid of pipe. Uh, I got a circulating fan, uh, solar panel for charging the battery that runs the circulating fan, and a couple thermostats uh, that control the when the fan runs uh, according to the temperature in the greenhouse. So. Ideally, when the temperature in the greenhouse gets above 70 degrees, the fan will come on, uh, start cycling through the soil, warm the sand up during the day. Uh, as the temperatures drop in the evening, the second thermostat will uh, kick the fan back on right around 45 degrees to draw heat from the uh, soil in the greenhouse. Uh, right now, you can see it's almost 80 degrees in the greenhouse, which is pretty amazing. You know, it's 13 degrees outside, 80 degrees inside. This is all uh, two inch styrofoam uh, on the north wall. So this back wall is all the north wall, two inch styrofoam all the way around. Uh, and the front is just uh, eight foot wide uh, to the ground. And this far corner, polycarbonate panels that we put in uh, double, so there's two inches in between them, outside layer and an inside layer. Uh, one window we put in it. And the main structure is actually a, a tube steel uh, carport that we uh, took apart and uh, used as the main frame to build the structure here. Um, we put styrofoam all along the bottom. Uh, it's a, seal off the uh, bottom uh, sill on it and I got some I believe it's called Kraken uh, spray foam in a can should be able to spray it on these seams so where I have these uh, steel posts that are part of the structure uh, I'm going to spray all these seams and over all these steel posts and that should seal that up as well and uh, keep from losing heat out those areas but it's pretty amazing I mean like I said it's 13 degrees outside it's sunny um, it's 80 degrees in here so it's if we can once build enough uh, heat in the floor uh, we'll really have something because we should be able to maintain it through the night just from the heat radiating and out of the soil underneath it so we'll see how it goes uh, tune in again on next video and uh, we'll have some updates on how it's going with the greenhouse Thank you.